Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make another Persian dish. It's coming from one of the city of Iran. That's Qaymenasar, which is belongs to Qazvin. Which Qazvin is a city, is about 150 kilometer northwest of Tehran as a capital. And I got these ingredients from, the, from a friend that his both parents are from Qazvin. And uh, the dish is very beautiful, very delicious, and very colorful. So let's go over the ingredients and start making it. All right, this food is probably good for six people. And uh, what I have here is uh, four cups of rice, which I already washed this and is ready to be cooked. And I have about two pounds or one kilogram of the veal meat, which is gonna be your choice if you wanna use the lamb or beef, uh, you, you can. And I have one full cups of barberry. This is looks more than one, but it is one because I soaked it about an hour in the water. So that's why, so it's, it looks more. I have one cup, cup of slivered almond and I have about like a five uh, slivered orange peel. Uh, this is not favorite, but I don't wanna, I just wanna just uh, respect the ingredients. It's not something that I like to put in my food. Although I just trying to make it with the uh, sugar, cook it a few times to make it more acceptable. And I have one cups of a slivered pistachio, have a one and a half teaspoon tomato paste. I have some spices here. It's about one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon of salt. Here I have one and a half a teaspoon sugar. I have a quarter of teaspoon cardamom powder cardamom seeds powder, and I have about half a teaspoon of cumin powder. Have some cooking oil, one very large actually, it's, you know, the onion these days is too big. So one large onion, or you can use two regular onion, one clove of garlic. I have about five tablespoon of uh, rose water, and I have some of the liquid zafra. So we're gonna start it with the cutting our onion and start sauteing that. Then we cut the meat and we go from there. Let's start cutting our onion. So I'm going to cut it very small size so it's going to be this way all right uh, we're doing the same thing with our garlic Slicing it very finely. All right, <clears throat> let's go and start sauteing the onion. I have a, a big pan here. Have to add some cooking oil. All right, while the onion is getting sauteed, let's go back and cut our meat. Okay, start cutting our 
meat it should be it's although it's a kind of stew but it's going to be mixed with the rice but the meat should not be too big just trying to make it you know this size at the most these are the size you should cut them or any any kind of meat that you have shouldn't be bigger than that so I'm going to cut this the way that it's supposed to be and after our onion turn the color we're going to add and start sauteing these meats Make sure to turn this once a while and stir and because it's if you forget it it's gonna burn very fast and quick. So it has to be just uh, almost every pieces of the same way to be sauteed and as soon as it turns a little bit brown then you start you know adding the meat and there some of the ingredients now in a few turn then is it I guess I'm going to add the garlic to it, then the meat and the spices. Let's see. You know what I forgot? One cinnamon stick. All right, is it time to add the garlic to it? And saute it a couple of minutes with the garlic. Then is it time to add the meat to it? Okay, I, I change, I put it in a higher heat because if it's a heat is high when you add the meat, it's prevent from just uh, losing the juice. It's gonna seal so fast and keep the, all the juice into the meat. Okay, I'm gonna add right now the black pepper and turmeric I'm gonna add the cumin right now and after maybe five six minutes then we're gonna add the water the hot water to it Oh, before that, I have to add the tomato paste. All right, turn on is tomato paste now. That's the tomato paste turn. And give it a little bit of taste and a color. Okay, few more minutes after this. The time for adding like a four cups of water and let it cook for about one hour okay at uh, this part is the cardamom and now I'm gonna add the cinnamon stick and two of those and the water just to cover this okay and now I have to reduce the heat and let it boil and it cook for about an hour now it's the time that I put some of the liquid saffron here too Just leave this alone. 
for about an hour. Okay. Meanwhile, we are going to cook our rice. Here I have the boiling water ready. And the rice also is ready. I'm going to add some salt because we're going to drain the water anyway. So till it cooks half away. You already know how to make the rice, I believe. All right, is the time to drain the excess water and rinse it to get the excess salt also out of it and then putting it back to the pot and cook our rice. Just to add a little bit of saffron on the pot with a little bit of oil and water before you put the rice back to it. So it's going to give you a good aroma and also the color on the bottom. Okay, go back, back to the fire and make a little bit of holes on it so that you can, this can breathe and bring the steam up, makes it, you know, better cook and fluffy. As soon as we see the steam covers this lid, then we have to cover that with a, a kitchen cloth and let it reduce the heat and let it be there for another 20 minutes the rice is done you see how steam is you can see all over okay this is time for just putting this paper i mean uh, kitchen cloth and cover that and then we should reduce the heat and let it be cooked for another 20 25 minutes okay while this one is going to be cooked and the meat is going to be cooking so we prepare the stuff that we have to put over the rice and the rest of the food let's do that all right it's a time to preparation for the nuts and barberries so i rather to have some about like a 30 grams of butter and instead of oil it makes it much tastier to use here for just sauteing these and at the same time i guess it's a time for our salt to goes to our meat here Also for giving a little bit of thickness, I rather to put half of our almond here too. It's been about close to one hour. Just let it cook another half an hour. And I guess it's gonna be ready. Now go back to preparation of barberry and the nuts for over the rice okay as I said you know I'd rather to instead of just oil to use the butter that it makes it very tasty and also make sure the heat is very low because it burns so fast all right and also here's the time for our sugar 
and we add the rest of the almond and our pistachio. Okay, and also the orange peel. So colorful, beautiful, huh? Okay, so at this time, you can taste this. If you need to add the sugar, you can add the sugar because barberry is, is kind of soury. Okay, and here's the time for little bit of our saffron again. I had to make a little bit more saffron because it was not enough for me. All right, for even better color, that the saffron helps a lot. And also here's the time for our rose water. Here too. All right, it's done. Ready when we're gonna serve, we go and show you how to use this. All right, this is the time. This is how they serve the game in the sour. It's rice and the game and topping. So that's here you go. All right. All right, here how they serve this. Half a weight rice, then gaime. Make sure you take this cinnamon stick out, put it aside. Then again, the rice goes on the top. This is the final touch. It smells so good. Here it is, our Cayman saw. As I said, very colorful, beautiful. And I wish you were here. The smell is amazing. And I'm pretty sure the taste is going to be wonderful too. Like always, I enjoy making food for you guys. And I thank you so much. I appreciate your support. And till next time with another dish. Bye.